Let's say your organization uses the Looker platform to govern, model, and visualize your data. Recently, your org started using Google Analytics to collect performance metrics. You need your Looker instance to model and govern the data. How do you go about this? To bring your GA data into Looker, you will model your data with fields and measures. Then you'll need to create dashboards that provide useful insights. All of that will take some time. Instead of modeling your data by hand, install a Google Analytics Looker block that will automatically model the data and set up dashboards. The Looker block saves you time and gives you a great starting point for you to dive into your data and analyze it further. Hi, welcome to our video series on developing with Looker and Looker Studio. I'm Jeremy, a Senior Developer Relations Engineer at Looker. In this video, we'll get you started with developing with Looker blocks. We'll introduce what Looker blocks are and their use cases, then teach you how to install, develop, and extend blocks for your own data analysis. Lastly, we'll go over some popular blocks you can install. By the way, a quick knowledge check. You should be familiar with how the Looker modeling language, or LookML for short, models your data with dimensions and measures. You should also be familiar with how to set up and edit a LookML project and its LookML files. So, what are Looker blocks? They are pre-built Looker models consisting of measures, dimensions, explores, views, and dashboards, all defined with LookML. A Looker block is basically a pre-configured LookML project that covers common analytical use cases. You can use it as a starting point to model and visualize your data. Now, when would you want to use or create a Looker block? Let's say you have a data source that you need to model, and it's a popular data source that others depend on. It's likely other developers or the data provider itself have already set up a Looker block. For example, many companies depend on Google Analytics data. In this case, Looker offers a block for Google Analytics. Or maybe you have a data analysis problem that you're sure others face too. For example, your organization needs to monitor its Google Cloud costs and many other customers share the same problem. Luckily, there's a Google Cloud cost management block available for you to install and get a quick grasp of your cloud costs. Or perhaps you have built a service and your service has a lot of customers. But now your customers come to you with questions on how to analyze your service's data. It's a great opportunity for you to build a Looker block for your service. Now any of your customers that use Looker can install your Looker block and immediately start analyzing your service's data. Now that you know some situations where you need to use or develop a Looker block, let's look into how you can install, extend, and even develop a block. To install a block, you need to do a few things. First, you need to properly configure your data source and database connection. Then, follow the instructions to install the block. For most blocks, you will import the block's LookML project into your own LookML project. You may also need to adjust some of your block's parameters and your Looker instance's settings. OK, you have installed the Looker block. Great job. But your stakeholders want you to extend the Looker block's data model. They like to explore the data in more ways, like adding some new measures or a different Looker explore. Well, you can extend a Looker block in a few ways. You can import the Looker blocks project into your own LookML project. Then use the include Looker parameter to reference the Looker blocks file in your own LookML files. You can take this a step further and use the extends LookML parameter to create a new explore view, or dashboard based off the Looker block's respective explore, view, or dashboard. Or lastly, you can make use of LookML refinements. The single refinements.lookml file defines the changes you want to apply to a block's view or explores. We recommend using the LookML refinements whenever possible, as it does not change the underlying LookML and contains all the changes in one file. 
This makes the changes portable between LookML projects. Otherwise, we recommend using the extends parameter if you need to extend the functionality of a Blocks dashboard, or if you want to make multiple versions of a Blocks Explorer or view. We've walked through how to install and extend someone else's Looker block. But how do you develop your own block or others? At a high level, a Looker block is a normal LookML project, but with a few more requirements. Outside of the normal LookML project's files, like the manifest, views, and explorers, you'll also need three LookML dashboards, which will serve as examples of your block's data analysis, a marketplace.json that contains the information that will show up in your block's marketplace listing, a licensed file with the MIT open source license, and a readme with directions on how to set up and use the block. With all of those files, you will need to host them in a publicly accessible GitHub repository so others can make use of it. Now, as you start your journey on using and developing Looker blocks, consider trying out and extending these three blocks. The Google Analytics block, which models traffic, behavior, audience, and acquisition metrics from Google Analytics. It also provides great dashboards to help you gain insight into customer behavior and engagement. There's also the Cloud Cost Management Google Cloud block, which models data regarding Google Cloud billing, credits, promotional offerings, and spending recommendations. The block helps you understand your spending and how you can manage your Google Cloud costs. Lastly, there's the BigQuery Information Schema Performance Monitoring block, which models BigQuery's native metadata tables that provide data on BigQuery consumption and performance. You can use the block to determine how your organization uses BigQuery and gain insight into optimizing your usage. We hope we gave you a good understanding of how you can use and develop Looker blocks. If you want to get started, try out these few steps. Install the Cloud Cost Management block in your Looker instance. The link is in this video's description. Then try extending the same blocks model. Lastly, check out our blocks developer documentation so you can get started on creating your own blocks. Look forward to more videos as we introduce you to other ways you can develop on Looker and Looker Studio. We'll see you in the next one.